Do you drink vodka for breakfast? Do you know any gangsters? You're stealing our jobs, mate. Bulgaria? What part of Russia is that? Oh, it's not. <laughs> How much vodka can you drink? About two shots and I'm done. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Come here, they offer me vodka. And, you know, I try to blend in. So I was like, yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, I'll drink vodka with you. A lot of times people want you to like perform how much you can drink. Right, you're at a party and they want to be like, oh yeah, like drink, show me how much you can drink. Yeah. It's like, do you drink it with your breakfast? No, no one does that. That's not normal. Well, <laughs> if you do, that's Some people do, but uh, they got problems. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Speak English. Regular death stares on public transport to the, to the point where I try and limit my use of Bulgarian as much as possible. Mm -hmm. My mom actually tells me, she tells me when I speak or call her, are you sure you don't speak in English? Are you in a safe space? They say, oh, you're in our country, you should speak our language. Okay, are you going to explain to my aunt like how to program her DVD true. player? Because like, <laughs> how bad at me? I do understand how it could be irritated for English people when they not yeah. understand they think you're talking about them. Yeah, they always think that you're talking about them. If they want to understand, they can always learn Bulgarian and then join us. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Please be my, be my guest. All those countries are the same. They think you're coming from East Europe, so that's, for them, is Russia. Oh, uh, are you from Russia? And I said, no, no, I'm from Macedonia. I'm from Bulgaria. Oh, that's, where in Russia is that? Or oh. Is that in Russia? Yeah, but you speak Russian, right? <laughs> no, I speak Macedonian. Oh yeah, here it is. Coming over here, taking our jobs. <laughs> oh my God, I hate this. So first of all, how can I steal a job that's already vacant? Someone goes to sleep and they wake up without a job. It doesn't <laughs> yeah, exactly. work that way. We're doing the jobs that no one wants to do. The, the, the half of the NHS is run by our nurses. Oh yeah, and, oh completely. And doctors. Sometimes you have to be much better qualified and work harder to get the same job that Yeah, because there's still person. prejudice even with the employers. No one says, okay, show me your passport. Oh, Romanian, shiny, burgundy passport. Please come in. Please be a teacher. Please be the CEO of the company. I would love to be taking your jobs. But yeah. I'm trying. But it's hard. Lord knows I've been trying. You must eat a lot of cabbage. Here it is. Like, I've never had cabbage in my entire life. Yeah. I eat so little cabbage. Really? Like, I wouldn't ask someone like, oh, you're, in you're English, right? Yeah. Do you eat bag only baked beans? You know what, they've got me here because I eat so much cabbage. <laughs> I love cabbage. My cat is named Cabbage. Even our houses are made of cabbage. Just instead of wood, we <laughs> use cabbage for fire. And that's how we survive. It's a stink, but... It stinks so bad, it's but like It's good for your body. It's really good. Could you do my bathroom? <laughs> oh my god. I have a PhD in medieval history, so uh, could you suck it? Anyone that comes over is like, oh, you're either going to be a builder if you're a man, or a cleaner if you're a woman. They, they think we're just like these really tough men who don't speak a lot. They, they have like one small bag that they brought from Poland or Lithuania or Macedonia. They put their whole life in there and their soul. A lot of people, they, they get shocked when you like, you get an Eastern European in and then like you get a legitimate quote and they're like, oh, well, I wanted this for slave labor prices. Do you know any gangsters? They think we are all like quite tall, quite like scary looking. Yeah. They think you were like born in a prison or something that you, you grew up, you know, 20 people beating you up every night in solitary. And... You got guns? Yeah, plenty. I'm uh, selling them as well online. Going to eBay. Remember the whole thing around the Olympics where it's like Romanian pickpocket gangs. An entire village has come from yeah, Romania to like, pick your pockets. And it's like drip, 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 drip. Yeah. Like the drop until you think, well, they must be all criminals. When are you going home? When England wins the World Cup. On the night tube? Like, when am what? I going to my flat? I'm never going back home. I'm staying forever. You'll hear people say stuff like, oh, well, they'll just, they'll just all go home. And then I'm like, hi. And, and then you reveal. Uh, you know, I'm an immigrant. I'm, you know, I have a job but here. But you're fine. And yeah, oh, exactly. Course. And she told me, no, you're fine. It's the other immigrant. Yeah. Your country must be a shithole. Yes, um, it definitely is, and that is the only reason why I'm here. No, I, I mean... <laughs> when people kind of picture Russia, I think they picture Putin on a bear running through a forest with a handful of vodka. People are 
walking just in underwear on the street because nobody can afford anything else. They're, they're stabbing each other for a piece of bread. Oh yes, back in old country we sleep with donkey. He is comrade. We live pretty much the same life, just yeah. slightly to the east. Get the plane, fly then. Two and a half hours. Open up to it and I'm sure you, you, you take something that you love out of Eastern Europe. We have like mountains and old churches. Cool art. Polish dancing. The wild beaches. The bars open 24 hours. Man, we got our own weird hip hop now. It's fine. <laughs> like, it'll be okay. Yeah, they're always saying, are you Polish? I'm just like, does that sound like Polish? <laughs> yeah, you do. Oh, really? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs>